this is a normal cooker lighter. And you might think, what's special about a normal cooker lighter? Well, I want to use this to show you one of my favourite physical principles. But to do that, I've got to take it apart. not something I recommend you do at home, but here we have the internal guts of a cooker lighter. Let me show you. So this is the mini butane tank and that obviously provides the fuel for our cooker lighter. And that fuel travels up this little see-through pipe there to the ignition end of the cooker lighter. And it does that because it's released by this little white valve here. And that valve is released when you push on the trigger of the cooker lighter. But when you push on the trigger, you're also pushing on this black button here. And this is the bit that I actually want to show you. So if we take it out, this is the spark generator. So if I hold these two wires close to each other, then you should be able to see a spark. And they generate this spark without even using one battery. The batteries will never run out on your cooker lighter because it just doesn't have any. Instead, they work by using what's known as a piezoelectric crystal. And these crystals work by when you apply a force to them, they actually generate an electric voltage. And this happens because normally crystals, they're very symmetrical. All of their atoms are lined up in rows and columns. So when you apply a force to them, when you squash them, they squash uniformly. But piezoelectric crystals, which can be anything from quartz to PZT, they're a little bit lopsided. So when you squash them, they actually bulge a little bit. And this bulge leads to a bulge in charge. So what can happen is when you squash them, one face of the crystal can end up having a different charge to another face. And this different in charge leads to a potential difference, which we know as a voltage. Now this all fits into the cooker lighter because when I push this button right here, it's actually a spring loaded hammer. And what that is doing is pushing down on the piezoelectric crystal, which is inside of there. And that's generating the voltage, like we just said. But the voltage doesn't just stay there. Come down with me, let me show you how it fits in. So it fits into the side of this butane tank like that. And you see these yellow and white wires. What they do is they take the voltage from the piezoelectric crystal and carry it up to the igniter end. So it ends up being between these two tips, which when you push the button, there's a nice spark between them. And it's that spark that then lights your cooker lighter. 